All right, now I got it figured out. As usual, I run out of space on my camera or something. I was right in the middle of my conversation there, and of course it's died, and I didn't even realize where it died. Um, oh, the joys of having half ass camera stuff. <laughs> Using the iPad, so, you know. When I deleted the videos so I had more space, I ended up deleting them, but I didn't delete the recently deleted folder, yada, yada, yada. Technology, man, being able to share a crap right away is just strange. Hey, kitty. So anyway, as I was saying in part one, I guess we all just want to be people and be accepted and be, you know, I know a lot of people are very stubborn about allowing their emotions to be, uh, I guess, being honest with themselves and with their emotions. And of course, being an individual, I can't be in another person's mind. So I don't know really how pe other people deal with their emotions. Um, many people react. I mean, everyone reacts differently to different situations. So, you know, we got to find that common ground, figure out what it is exactly that um, we can do better, you know, with ourselves and with each other. Uh, but without casting insult and, and picking at obvious flaws in each other. Because I, you know, you know so many people, and you meet so many people in your life that have so many flaws. And it's so easy to pick those things out. What I've noticed is a lot of the time when a person picks out, you know, um, a particular flaw in somebody else, it's, um, a lot of the time it's to do, it's just because it's a peeve, something that drives the person nuts. Some of the time it's because it's something the person used to do, such as I used to be an ex-smoker, let's say, and now I can't stand cigarette smoke. Or um, I used to eat meat, but I don't eat meat anymore, so now everybody that eats meat is nasty. That kind of stuff. Uh, and then there are... Then there's the projection, where people are telling others what's wrong with them, but really they're projecting that from themselves. And this comes up a lot. And, I, I, you know... It's the most transparent when a person doesn't understand anything about the human mind or psychology or how the mind fools us. The more you learn, the more you can kind of laugh at yourself and say, Haha, I'm being a dumbass, you know, or I'm being egotistical, or I'm not being e having enough ego, or I'm not standing up for myself, or I'm standing up for myself too much. And we start to watch ourselves from the outside. It becomes a normal way of life to watch yourself. But people who don't do that... Um, it's like you can watch them and they're so tran those are the transparent people. The ones that it's so obvious you know what they're gonna do. You know, they always resort to an ad hominem attack or or they always get really frustrated with you when you say a certain thing or a particular thing. You just learned how to tread lightly around these people, whether they be friends or acquaintances, co workers a lot of the time. And uh, you just learn not to set them off. But there are people who love to push buttons, of course. The best thing to do to take away that ammunition is just to not have any buttons to push. You know, everyone can be annoyed by people. You know, it's but it, I don't know. I guess all I could say about it is is just keeping a good balance of realizing I'm a human. I'm in control of my emotions and who I am. I'm gonna have various, uh, you know, guilt or anxiety or um, various, I guess, you know mental states throughout my life for a period of time rather than just say, oh no, you know, people have breakdowns all the time, people, uh, they get really elated for a while and some people get really depressed and everybody goes through these cycles and once in a while your cycles mingle with somebody else who's like-minded and uh, at those times you can exchange information and then you just kind of move off your own way and then maybe meet again and uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just seeing humans as, you know, I see the potential in humans because I see the potential within the people around me as well as myself. But I also know myself well enough to know that even with all the best intentions in the world, it doesn't mean you're going to actually do it. And it's just the same as saying even if you know what your psychological problems are, it doesn't mean you can necessarily just cast them away. But you can process them better. And I know there are a lot of people out there who think, well, I don't have anything wrong with my mind. It's perfect. And, hey, hey, I'm with you. You know, or at least I was for a long time until I really looked at myself and said, okay, I'm obviously not crazy. I'm a coherent, normal person. I'm able to hold a conversation. I'm able to function in a group of people, you know. 
and I don't go through bouts of depression or freaking out, but I have had anxiety in the past that I learned to deal with. I haven't had it in a long time. Um, but I'm a human, just a flawed human, you know, and I have all these things I'm working on. And uh, accepting that just makes life so much easier. You know, I guess figuring out how much of it's from our youth and how much of it is self-inflicted. You know those people that used to punish themselves with the whips, you know, the extreme religious self-beating, self-persecution, self-mutilation. All of these things stem from guilt and not fitting in in your childhood or in a certain time in your life or not getting enough love, you know. And people hate psychology because it points out the obvious. Some things that were like, oh, okay, that affected me this way. Because our minds are delicate, but they're strong. So they rewire in a way that we can utilize them. At the same time, they block out the negative things, but they take on a new form because of those things that we experienced. So, uh, anyway. I don't really know what to make of it all, you know. Like, I, I know that I'm a stable person right now, but I also know that it would be easy to hit a point where I just went crazy for a while. Or could I? You know, could I even force myself to go crazy? You know what I mean? Like, I'm a stable-minded person. I don't, uh, tr or at least I consider myself, but that's just my subjective experience. Uh, to some other people, I might be completely nuts. And so that's, that's really my point. Uh, we're stuck in our minds and what we know and what we consider to be normal. It's crazy life. So take care, everybody. And uh, see you on the dark side.